Let's go. Bitch. <laughs> yeah, I hit start, by the way. I call forth the shield. Swoop. And I dangle it in front of Rogo. <laughs> you like this? Was it worth it? I didn't say that. Do you like it? I just wave it in front of his face and push his own breath back into his face. We'll be back. <laughs> I just drop it back into the bag for now. We'll look at it later, I guess. Yuck. I keep flopping up onto the walls. I examine the room. I just collapse onto the floor because I'm still bleeding. How about we take a short rest? I don't think I used it. Does Inspire ever wear off? Or is it just conditional based on... I'm just uh, taking it all in. My, I have just ten tinnitus right now. Do you have like a spell slot to heal me? Uh, was that the 16 health? I'm like... I'm half health. Alt. Alt. Pick a pick. Sorbert sure got quiet. <laughs> Quick, go breathe on him. She just like, when he gets back, just be going. <sighs> <laughs> like a head behind him. I like how your character model, you can see the fingerprints on the axe. Look at your, have it zoomed in on the stream. You can see the fingerprint on the model. What did you see with your eyes? <laughs> I just grab his robes and just start shaking him and saying, what did you see? <laughs> I've never dealt with one, but I'm assuming an emerald drake. An emerald drake? Oh, absolutely intriguing. I wasn't expecting this. The only dragons we knew in the area were this white worm. What is, what is a green R&B singer doing out there? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, hey, uh, uh, what, what'd you say, uh, uh, wizard? Not repeating myself, old man. <laughs> well, should we turn around? Have any of you come upon something of such strength? <coughs> Never. We weren't planning on <clears throat> running into a drake or a dragon. <clears throat> It isn't the one that we were concerned with. What do you know? You're very quiet. What do you Randomly. know about green dra dragon? I know this amount about green dragons. Okay, hang on. <laughs> I, I know things. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
So you know that it is it is not just from the way you were able to study it for a little bit of time, seeing that it was it was asleep. Um, you could tell that it was a, a young green dragon, and that they typically can be reasoned with. Um, they do speak common and draconic. Um, they basically um, clash with other dragons over territory, um, but they primarily have it in uh, forests, which is where you saw it. Um, they kind of prefer living treasures versus material treasures. Um, so like creatures that they can bend to their will and, um, you know, heroes, things like that, that they can kind of manipulate into doing things for them. They're, they're the objects that they consider treasures. Interesting. So, so we have to give a moon. Well, I've gleamed two things from my studies. One, they're highly territorial. Well, three things. They're highly territorial. They can be reasoned with. And we would have to come up with a living treasure. But... A living treasure. There's a possibility that we could utilize <clears throat> if... Well, none of you are very charismatic. But... I've, I've heard that they sleep... For long periods of time, could could we not just sneak past the beast? Well, we don't have to even confront it. We can go. There are other paths and or the way out that we came in. However, we might be able to use it against the white dragon. I, I say shield and pop the shield into my hand and throw it on the ground. Detect magic on this. Is this what we came here for? I mean, I can probably just ask Corvax if... Did... No, I touched the shield. Did you? Yeah. Oh. It's a Did worthless... you cast Detect Magic, though? I didn't cast Detect Magic on it. I have Detect Magic. I can cast it. Do you but do you're that? a Rebo. I can <laughs> also do it. I'll Ritual cast Detect Magic on the shield. Okay, so you do feel a magical <laughs> presence coming from the shield. Um... How long is that ritual? I should learn of its school of magic. How long is the ritual take? Ten, ten minutes. Damn it. I wanted to hear. <laughs> um, I don't know what school of magic it would be. But you, do, you, you just sense a uh, magical aura about the shield. Hmm. Protection magic. We'll go on. Let's pick it up, wizard. Oh, are we done with ten minutes? Sure, yeah. Well, let uh, that let what? that short round try to talk to it. It's definitely magical. What did Corvax say? Nothing. He's sleeping. So you can, you can ask Corvax questions to kind of wake him up if you want to, Zorba. I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want to do it. Uh, Corvax. Yeah. Yes, of Richard, stars. Yes. yes. I point him towards the shield, and I tell him to, if he can smell the covers, olfactory uh, glands because it's near grip. this dwarf. Grip and equip the shield, wizard. On uh, the other hand. And then I am going to ask Rogar for the shield. I haven't touched the shield. Where I'm is examining it? Examining it. It's on the ground. Fine, I'll touch the shield on the ground. Okay, so you put the shield on your arm, and Heavy. you feel the the um, intricate working of the leather handholds and and the fine steel. It's definitely not as heavy as it looks. Um, but Corvax, um, you, you can just kind of feel him, you know, you just feel a slight vibration in your hand. Touch me to the shield. Yeah. Oh, oh. So it's getting touched, oddly sexual. You touch Corvax to the shield and just sprays of lightning bolts shoot out the end. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but you feel <laughs> Corvax uh, in your mind. He said, this is not 
This is not my kin, but this is a strong shield. This, this shield, when worn, will catch projectiles that are sh shot at the intended target and absorb them. So Corvex identifies it as an arrow catching shield. The super shield. Test it. Remy, so you get plus it. two bonus to AC against ranged attacks while you wield the shield. Uh, this bonus is in addition to the shield's normal bonus AC. In addition, whenever an attacker makes a ranged attack against a target within five feet of you, you can use your reaction to become the target of the attack instead. So is it a plus two shield with plus more two, or just? No, plus it's a it's a regular shield's AC plus two. Okay. So... Against ranged attacks only. So two all, and then plus two range? More. Yes. Yeah, and then if you're within someone, like let's say Zorbert's getting shot at and you have the shield, you can use your reaction to take that shot for him. Tanking. Shield. Well, seeing as you lot are a bunch of sissies, I'll take the shield. I'm the only one here who can wield it. I yank it out of Zorbert's hands. Frail gnarled fingers. <laughs> Wizard, we are close. Hmm. Corvax, what can you tell me about a green dragon in the lands? I plop <laughs> down and smoke my pipe. Well, you know, uh, green dragons are the, the most cunning and treacherous of true dragons. <laughs> green dragons use misdirection and trickery to get the upper hand against their enemies. Nasty-tempered and thoroughly evil, they, make, they take special pleasure in subverting and corrupting the good-hearted. In the ancient forest of Rome, green dragons demonstrate an aggression that is often less about territory. And he goes on like that for about 15 minutes. Perfect. I can feel my wounds sealing. <laughs> well, this dragon's probably too canny for us. <laughs> but... Basically, you just discern from Corvax that green dragons are um, you know, pretty evil creatures, but they can be reasoned with. Um, but they most of the time try to manipulate the trade to be in their favor by far and um, use misdirection and conflict and corruption. They're just pretty shitty dragons. Well, it's sleeping, so we obviously haven't found what we're looking for unless the dragon's sleeping on top of it. I guess we're going back into the depths. <clears throat> Unless you guys want to get TPK'd to a dragon. Let's rest up. I ain't no dragons, bitch. You guys do see a, another um, doorway. Oh. Over here. I didn't see that. Having explored the room a little further. Is this entrance and uh, dragon size? No, it is absolutely not. All right. My pants remain dry. I use Corvax to light the way through this path of treachery. Ooh, just more skull diggery. Cedric diggery. Yeah. <coughs> now where are we going? Is that down? Ooh. Examination. Examination. So you, looking at this in this crypt area, you see more just tons, of piles of bones and skeletons. Um, you also see a very odd-looking door um, to the east of this chamber. So looking at this door, you notice that it, it, there's no handle on it or any way to open it whatsoever. So um, there must be some intricate locking mechanism or lever action to make this door open. It can't be opened by physical means. I attempt to open the door by physical means. <laughs> okay. Make a strength check. Where did it go? Damn. So you can't even get a grip on where you would even begin to start to leverage this door open. I'm just rubbing my hands all over it. Yeah. 
Um, I would like to. I'm gonna look peer through this way. I'm gonna use my. So hat. make a perception check. Who? Proxis. So you you looking into this room, you see a faint green glow right about here, and you see a shadow kind of hovering next to the green glow, and, and a smell kind of assaults your nostrils, and it just smells like rotting flesh. Um, but you also kind of taste in your mouth um, like an ozone taste, kind of like um, really strong magical presence. I kind of... I extinguish my torch and kind of creep back hey you goggle boy goggle boy. yes yeah 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 oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> i love your imitation um oh, i think i think boy. we might be dealing uh with some sort of creature in the next room you see if you can to put your torch out and see if you can see in there yeah let me uh let me go take a look i hope it's not my wife be sneaky. So Remy kind of goes up to the corner here and pushes the cobwebs aside, and you see him lower his bow to his side and, and peer in with the goggles. Holy shit. It's some kind of... Well, hang on. A wiener? <laughs> it looks like a floating ball of flesh. With tentacles on it. I don't know. I've never seen anything like it before. Uh, my in-game character has no <laughs> idea. But I... My out-of-game... Less retarded. Human. So, Zorber, make a history check based on that description that he gave you. Are you talking to me? <laughs> I'm yes. just mumbling. No, is this brute talking to me? Not you. <laughs> Remy was, yeah. Oh, uh, Remy was. <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's see what we know. So you, you from what Remy said, um, you can, I mean, you know what a, a beholder is. Um, and it kind of sounds like that. But um, the smell of decaying flesh and um, the smell of ozone in the room does not ring a bell with you with the description of beholders that you've known in the past. What's a beholder? What did you roll for to identify oh, the creature? Uh, Seventeen of Arcana. It's it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, if you were able to look in and look at you look at the creature yourself, you may be able to get a better idea. Um, to die. Yeah. Those Wizard, things. here, take take my goggles. So Remy hands you his goggles so you can take a look into the chamber. Yeah, those things do a lot of status effects. I mean, yeah. It made me powerful. <laughs> so looking in, uh, Zorber, you can see the floating ball of flesh. And it looks like the skin is just falling off this thing. And there's some pieces of skull showing. And, and um, it, it turns around. Um, and you can see that it's got a very clouded, cataract-ridden dead oh, eyeball in the middle. Almost an old beholder an elder beholder well it sounds like it's undead and uh two you can notice that quite a few of its tentacles uh what usually beholders have around eight or so uh four of them are just disintegrated and dead and the other Our, four are, are limply hanging on i rolled a new arcana after looking at it it's 23 so you've just like any other creature in the realms um undead afflicts everything so you believe that this could be some kind of undead beholder well that's not good because being undead means that it's not necessarily easier to kill beholders are immense. you remember Powerful hearing that creature. undead that beholders strength lies in their tentacles so a typical beholder having you remember having eight tentacles and you remember only seeing four on this one so comparatively, it is a far weaker creature than your standard beholder. Weaker. Yes. You are very generous with saying so. I thought these were insanely magical, deadly creatures. What are these students telling me about beholders? <laughs> Those idiots. Uh, 
I'm just, like, I'm nodding furiously, and I drink a healing potion. Okay. All well, right, I'll give these goggles back to him and tell them what uh, I've gleamed. Okay. I want to light this candelabra. This torch. What do you... Uh, so Remy goes up to Moon. What do you think, Moon? Oh, Chad's muted. He must be on the phone. I was on the phone. I am back now. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Let me catch up to you guys. He was just doing drugs in the next room. Uh, uh, hey, guys. Don't mind me. I feel fine. I peer into this hall. Into which hall? Sorry. Is this uh, that's just, it looks to be just a, a catacomb. Uh, an empty empty tomb. You don't really see anything in there. I don't see that treasure chest there. So, so Did we... you roll? Hmm? Roll a perception check. So you do see some kind of wooden object with iron lashing about it. In the far back. My mouth's watering. I check for trap. Okay, make a um, investigation. This is minus one, not plus four. So seven. So uh, right in front of the chest, you do see what seems to be a very uh, thin metal cord going from one end of the wall to the other. Is it connected to the chest? You don't know. You can't see. But it looks very taut. There's a trapped chest right here. Let me, uh... Let me take a look. So Remy goes in. So Remy looks at the, um... Mechanism studies it for a bit and you see him kind of run his fingers along the the wire and um you see him kind of take a uh a dagger he's got a dagger doesn't he in his hand i think so yes he's got a dagger so you see him take his dagger and he holds the blade up against the trip wire and he says uh all right everybody back up get out of the uh the tunnel way um, and then he cuts the cord, and you see him. He's going to make a dexterity roll. Light of hand. Um, and you see him tumble out of the way as a uh, great axe from the top of the cavern swings down and um, would have inflicted a massive amount of damage to whoever was standing there. Um, but the axe stops and um, is just laying there, the trap being disarmed. You guys should have put the beholder there. Great job, Remy. Good work, old man. Yeah, uh, thanks. I can't Who's get in there, but I go and open the chest. Okay, so the chest opens up easily, and inside you find a bag, a leather bag, and a staff. I show it to Zorber. I put, it, I put it in front of his nose. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this! I guess I'll investigate these items. So you you can sense a magical property about both of them, but you have no idea what they are. Okay. You I'm probably worried. have some magical items. I'm worried about the sack more than I am. The... I am too. I should put the stick in the sack. And see what happens. Mm. Does the staff look cooler than Corvax? No, no. looking. Look, no, throw them out. Absolutely <laughs> not. So this staff, uh, it, it's a wooden staff, and it's decorated with bird carvings on it. Oh, it's like a. Is it like a bow staff, or is it a quarter? Staff? Is it? Yeah. Does it look more like a a martial? weapon user's staff or a magician's staff? It is literally a five foot tall staff that looks just like a regular staff. 
Wicked Quarter. Seems yeah. very druid. Oh. Seems very druidish. Perfect. This is probably a special item that Moon gets. Let me see it. <laughs> I hold it in my hands, and I communicate with Corbax, inquiring if this is his friend. Yeah, wizard. I'm, I'm very tired. Um, we have a beholder on our hands, but check out. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yes. Uh, let, let me see. Um, the stab. Uh, yes. Um, and I rub and I rub the stabs together like two oh, long shafted items. Wizard, this 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 staff is is more of like a uh, a cantrip staff. It's very simple magic, you see. Um, this this staff when. Uh, being held, you can use and uh, you can uh, submit your will upon it, and it will uh, emit within a range, a certain range, uh, various bird calls. You could be a finch, a raven, a duck, a chicken, a goose, a loon, oh. a turkey, a seagull, an owl, an eagle. It will make any of those noises, uh, however you wish. I like it. Rub, rub the bag on him. It'll be, it'll be perfect for nature walks. <laughs> what about this bag? And I shove, I shove the head of this staff into the bag Don't and, do swirl that. It, and swirl it around. The wizard, get me out of here! I've lost my mind. <laughs> it could be a devouring bag. <laughs> All right, I just hold the bag up to him and see if he can tell me anything about it or I, I'll take it to I, somebody. I cannot discern this item for you. Okay. Thank you for your time. Do you have any uh, tips and tricks against, <laughs> against the beholder? <laughs> I think we're boring somebody. That's Corvax. He fell back asleep. Oh, cool. All right, let's go fight this thing. I'm wounded. <laughs> oh, okay. <take> it. <laughs> I'm wounded. I I have twenty. You guys in an hour? <laughs> yeah, we'll take an hour snooze. Um, I'll keep watch. So I just want to reiterate here that we're gonna die. There is an open cavernous doorway that you suspect a powerful creature is in. I know I like With it. literally nothing preventing it from patrolling down this way to find you guys asleep. Uh, it's a short run. <laughs> well, then let's... Uh, uh, open! Sesame. What's this? What's down here? Bella. I speak... Friend. I speak elvish. Look, the door's cracked. Oh, I can, uh, I can sneak through there. Put your dumb, stupid staff in that hole and expand it. <laughs> well, it doesn't work that way. Oh, it doesn't push things? No. Um, okay. I'm going to use my second wind. Okay, go ahead. Uh, the worst second uh, wind you've ever had. Six. Hey, how'd you get over there? I snuck. I'm tiny. Did you fly through? He no. went up and over. I think. I'm mostly healthy again. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> He's deleted. So me. Moon, you you close your eyes and suddenly the vastness of the universe is displayed before you. You see supernova suns, galaxies being born, and you're dead. Finally, I uh, I have achieved. And then life. finally, the 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 latest mushroom. The trip ends, and you are back oh. in the in the catacomb. If you really need to rest, then we're gonna have to go back. I'm good <laughs> now. At least I know somebody you... else is weak, though. I've obtained, I've obtained enlightenment. Let us continue. So Remy's how... max HP. Let's see. Remy's looking healthy. Well, how is Rogar? I, I just hurt? cure myself. No, yeah, you should probably heal up. I'm at. So Remy's gonna go to the cavern and keep an eye on the creature. I'm um. Guys, guys, it's heading this way. Lights out. Uh, I'll cast Cure Wounds on myself three times. Okay, so make See sure you, you use those spell slots. Yes. Remy should make us all stealth. 
So, um, you guys are being pretty quiet right now, right? Yeah, Yeah, we turned off our lights. So, um, from that cavern, you start to feel like some, the hairs on the back of your necks rise. And from that cavern, you hear, before we get into combat, I'm cat, what? Uh, I was going to tell Remy to give us all the stealth powers that he had. Oh, that old man. So you, you look at Remy and you kind of give him a head nod and he, he nods back and understands and he casts a uh, pass without a trace. So we get and, plus uh, 10, but we still have to roll stealth, right? Correct. Yes. See you later, boys. Where is my health at in d and I don't see it anymore. The <laughs> I have 26. 26 here. Oh, here it is. Uh, I have 14 stealth. Plus 10? Yeah. No, oh, no, 14 total. Zerber. Did anyone roll under a 10? It's impossible. No. It's not it's impossible. Can't. If you have a negative, yes, I guess so. Right. Okay, so you guys... I do, being two, a, I do two heals. Okay. So, um, being that you guys are in a dark cavern plus eight and you guys kind of knew uh something was coming your way you you slink to the shadows and the crevices within the room and um in into the room uh your noses are just immediately assaulted by undead uh rotting decay smell and you see this undead beholder come in and um it kind of cool it looks around but it it's dead-eyed can't focus on anything and it's just kind of aimlessly wandering. And then it starts to head back to the cavern that it was in previously. I'm going to fucking Sneak attack. swing an attack on it. Okay, so make a, um attack with advantage. And then it's surprised, I assume, right? Yeah. I'll just roll plus eight on these. Ooh. <laughs> I rolled both. Oh my god! That's nuts. Okay, so roll damage. Damage. So do I roll two more dice or double those? You attack twice. Is it plus five? I thought, I thought you or... double. I thought you double the damage. Yeah, the damage dice, right? Yeah. So I think you just do thirteen times two, right? Is it? I thought it was just dam- two more damage done. What is uh, that? For a crit? Yeah. I don't know if the modifier is doubled. You just roll two of your example. You're using a longsword roll nat 20. You roll two eight-sided dice, 2d8 for damage, instead yeah. of the base 1d8. Well, minus That being said, you don't double your damage modifier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, it's 4d6. Yeah. All you- so 4d6 plus 5, yes. Yeah, okay. Cool. So 9 more to that. So 22. Six. 23. Right? No. 22. 22. Math. Math is hard. That's your first attack, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, now everyone roll initiative. Is my second attack? Or do I have to wait? No, you just get one surprise attack like that. But when I do the attack, attack, I can attack twice. It's <clears throat> you. It's one action. Okay. Um, and I can do two dark. attacks per action. Right. So the surprise that you get, he gets two attacks per action. So the surprise attack, he would get the critical attack and a and a chance to attack again. Right. That's how I take an action. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. 17. That is a hit. 14 more. 14 more damage. Okay. Right, here's my initiative roll. 10. All right. So, who rolled... Who goes first? Help me out here. Uh, Moon got an 11. <coughs> Proxus got 10. Jimmy Zorber got 1. Zorber got 4. Jimmy got 1. Uh, again. 
I'll roll for Remy. It's Dex, right? Yeah. Plus your Dex modifier, yeah. 14. So he might be first. So the Beholder is first. But he's so a a after your so, shot, so, yes. So the argument we had before is we did the party, even though he attacked to start the combat, did the party still surprise him so that we all go before his first round? I think Would once the initiative starts, it just starts the initiative order. But since he goes first, he loses his turn. Right. Which would, yeah. I mean, he, he is first in initiative, but this whole round is a surprise round. Correct? Right. So he now it's Remy's turn. Yes. And then it'll, and then he'll start. Right. Yes. Okay. He'll start first. So um, <clears throat> Remy is going to. No, he was. If he was up. last. That would have really screwed him. So Remy's going to turn tail and head over this way. Was he in range of the beast just now? He, uh, back where he was? Yeah, when he started. It looked like he was pretty close to him. Yeah, he was way too close. So is he going to take an attack or not? Yes. So he's going to be Hunter's Mark. No, no, no. He was not not too close to the... Yeah. He was. Oh. It looked like he was. Yeah, this is one tile right here. GM doesn't get any free passes, boys. No. That's why he was stealth. That's why he got away with it. Now, what Mach is saying is that he was too close. I know Mach's trying to say he gets an attack of opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. What I'm saying is, yeah. What I'm I'm saying, what I'm saying is, Remy is still stealth. I forgot. What does that say about that? That is true. He knows I'm here, Smack. I don't. I don't is. know if you can be stealth within five feet of something. I yeah. think you can if you're good enough. And, before and before this, before this started, Moon's light was off. He turned it on so we could see his fighting. This thing guys got like twenty eyeballs. You see that, right? All cataracts ridden. <laughs> <laughs> cataracts mean yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's right, Mark. You didn't account for the cataract. On top of that. Right now, it's probably focusing on Proxus, who just hit him out of nowhere in the darkness. So Remy's going to put his bow aside for a second and slap at it with his club. What an idiot. He could have got out of there without any problem. And that is a miss. Oh, Remy's dead, boys. Moon. All right, I'm going to do a couple of cool rolls to get on the other side of Proxus. Yes. A series of yes. cool rolls. Move, 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 move. Got him. Got him. Got him. All right. Did you uh, create the graphic for the X strike when we get there? <laughs> <laughs> we got to do the oh. the try strike. It's oh, that was a roll. What? Why is my? Where are my dice? They're not showing up on the screen. Do you guys see them rolling on the screen? No, this cavern's tough for that, but that's a miss. Got him. Punch it in its eyeball. Uh, I'm gonna save my luck. It's too early in the fight. All right, twenty. Twenty's a hit. Punch it in the eyeball. Oh, gross! Yeah. For that, um, I'm gonna follow up with a flurry of blows. That's it. that hit the other dice. It doesn't count. I gotta do it again. <laughs> Ooh, that is a mess. Hold on. I might have luck. On, I might have free luck on that. Let me read my. Let me get that wrong. <coughs> yes. Okay. All right. Let's try that again. There we go. All right. Nineteen plus yeah, twenty six for the first strike. There we go. Ten, and then for the second strike. Nineteen. <coughs> Hits. 19 hits. Ugh, gosh. Five. Okay. Um. I don't know. I'm going to I'm gonna stay here so that we have... Oh, I probably could have rolled advantage. I, did, I didn't think about that. Oops. I'm flanking. Mm-hmm. Shit. Roxas, you're up. That sucks. Well, now you can roll advantage. You got flanking, right? Come on. 
clockwork necklace there. Actually, no, that's a once a day. No. What was the last well, time I roll, used you, you get to roll advantage, oh, so you roll yes, another yes, one. Yes, yes, yes. We just we just talked yes, about. I knew this. I knew this. <laughs> that hits. Okay. Ew. Twelve. Twelve points of damage. Okay. And then a second attack. That hits. How many attacks do you get? Jesus. Still hits. Still hits. There we go. Thirteen. Okay. The end is now. Zip it. I guess I'm just gonna cast magic missile. In each yeah. eyeball. Yeah, from multiple sides and his t different tentacles to weaken his tentacles. That's what I'll do. Um, I'll do a second level. <laughs> Snicker snack. <laughs> Snicker snack. Look at those magical dice. Lagging Eleven. us out. Get them out of the way. Eleven plus four, fifteen. Okay. Pow, 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 pow. Wait, pow, I was pow, done. Pow, 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 pow. Now I'm Boom. Done. Roasted. Roga. How, how's it looking? It looks very undead. Oh, <laughs> undead. Cast the holy light effect. Yeah, does does cure wounds? And you see like pus coming from one of the eye stalks that was not wiggling, um, and you see four of its eye stalks are still wiggling or, or, that were kind of dormant before are now wiggling with an undead snake-like appearance. No healing mm. in D and it's not like Final Fantasy where it kills. Da, 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 da. Um, I'll cast Fog Cloud in here. Okay. So, I'll do it from, it's a 20 foot radius, so, what, it would be one tiles, five feet, so four, five, four ten, tiles? Ten, yeah, it should be the entire cavern, so I'll just, yeah. <laughs> Naruto smoke bomb the cavern. Okay. The area is now heavily obscured. What does that do for our attacks? I don't know, but it hopefully, helps you hopefully it irritates his eyeballs. <laughs> he did any breathes on it. If you're within melee and know where he was, you shouldn't have an issue. But <clears throat> so if it's I... Rogar, is he it has actually... Hunter's Mark on him, doesn't he? Is is this a special from Rogar that he does not have Hunter's Mark on him? He does not have Hunter's Mark. Okay. I mean, I don't think he has to do range to have Hunter's Mark on something, so he probably would have put it on him. Hunter's Mark does not have a minimum range. But he did not. What a what an old man with dementia. What a bad record. Wait till he watches this video. What an old man with dementia. <laughs> Rogar farts into the room. Yeah. Is that your turn, Rogar? That's my turn. Okay. You boys are ready? So you see one of its eye stalks quiver and point. At you, Proxus. No. Having surprised it and pissed it off pretty thoroughly. No. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, He's going to turn to stone. Yeah, I'm dead. Bye, bye, <sighs> boys. Bye, bye. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> bye, bye. So the, wait, the wait, eyeball. Wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you considering the heavily obscured? condition of the field yes that has no bearing on this whatsoever oh definitely really? on melee i wouldn't oh. think so this <laughs> i'm going this, to uh, inspire limp. myself <laughs> <laughs> yes inspire you have to me. do that before the roll this this is from roll 20 I, I don't what do you mean it doesn't have any you effect do at all have to do that before inspiration i just didn't throw it yet okay we're getting a little meta here. 
so the <laughs> the limp eye stalk that was previously kind of not really moving around it, it points right at you proxis and you being in such close proximity you can see and it's kind of lid pulls back on itself and there's a black eyeball in it and a ray of black mist sprays at you and you take 40 points of damage i am dead well down what the f just happened and then it is going to turn and bite moon i don't think so 10 nope okay that's its turn what the f just happened remy is going to Hunter's Market. Was that thing it just cast? Is it like an ability? Or would it be like a spell that I recognize? It would not be a spell that okay. you recognize. The way that Beholder attacks work, it's not like it's casting a spell. It's it's like it's... Um, I don't know, it's hard. It doesn't say that it's a spell. Okay. And what were you saying, Mach? I was just saying that, uh, you know, the area is heavily obscured, so a creature effectively suffers from the blinded condition. The only thing I've ever heard about Fog Cloud is you cast it on a group of, like, archers so they can't shoot at you. Which from... would affect Chris's or Proxus's armor class, I agree with you, but not like a dexterity saving throw. I don't think it would affect anything in melee. If you're right next to it, Fog's not going to obscure... Those guys right in a pile fighting each other. It just depends what your definition is because it makes it so I can't hit the thing. If it's blinded, it can't see. Is what he well, said. he didn't. I'm just saying it's a giant eyeball, and it's supposed to be blinded. So Paul Cloud doesn't blind. A blind. So I would imagine it just like runs out of here crying or something. Is, are you sure that the spell the spell says, the spell says that it casts? blind no it no no heavily obscured is a field condition and creatures in a heavily obscured zone are blinded blocks vision and blinded condition. Okay. okay a blinded creature can't see and automatically fails any ability check that requires its eyeballs so and it's might... a fucking giant eyeball he Thank might you, have just Thank won. You, Rogar. He might have just won the battle. Yeah, we're just gonna do poorly with attacks and stuff. But... Or we just run. DM's so thinking. DM's thinking. <laughs> I mean, you got to factor in. Proxus surprised attacked it, so it knows exactly where Proxus is. It's gonna attack the thing that did the most damage to it, and it knows exactly where that thing is. That's fair. That's fair. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not I'm trying already, to argue a point. I'm just saying. I'm already softening that blow, breaking fourth wall here, um, by quite a bit. Wow. So, um, yeah, we'll leave it as it is. Okay. Okay. Mm. So, but um, it, it, for the record, though, it cannot see. It cannot see Zorbert, Rogar, and if Remy moves. It will not be able to know where the, they are. But they also cannot see the creature, correct? No, but it also knows you attacked it in front of it. It does know where I am, I will say that. Right. But the other three... And it knows that something attacked it from behind Proxus. It, it probably cannot discern how far away. I'm talking not just from the Beholder's perspective, but can anybody else in the party even see this thing? Everyone's blinded. Everyone's blinded. Unless you, unless you do this again, and you said it's, you yeah, guys then they would be able to go, see. You guys could go to the edge of the room and see it, or see in, I should say. No, I don't know if you can see in because it makes the area no. heavily obscured. Interesting. I don't know. I'm just throwing out the, uh, you know, what what are the so scenario? What's here? the Remy's going to make an attack? So he's going to make an attack either way. So he is going to. What do I do for attack? 
He's got to oh, roll with disadvantage. If, if, if you can, no, 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 no. If you can see the creature still, then just do a normal attack roll because the creature would be blinded that you're trying to attack. But so wouldn't but, Remy if he's in that fog cloud? Yeah. But but you're also blinded, so the yes. advantage and disadvantage cancels out. Hold on, hold on. There's another thing here. He's got his glasses on. He's got his goggles. Is it darkness or is it like fog? No, not it's sure not. It helps. It's, okay. it's blindness, so dark vision doesn't help. Okay. But some things have blind sights. Does he I have think everything sight? should oh. just have a disadvantage on attacks. I agree. Okay. That's I, what I was asking. I don't I was think it's good. canceling out because he has a... That, I think he just has disadvantage. All right, I think Chris gets to roll another deck save then. No, it's too late. Automatically too late. Too late. <laughs> I'm already right, so flopped on the ground. Remy missed. <coughs> and he gets two attacks, right? Why? Ooh. Oh, yes, he does. Level five, right. That's an actual one. Oh, my gosh. Do I have to roll a reflex save against him shooting me? <laughs> so Remy just fucking hip fires into the fog and misses completely. Everyone included. Moon, you're up. Uh, according to the internet, Mach was right about that, too. What? It's stupid, but it's whatever rule this person said, is that it's an advantage and disadvantage due to it having advantage for you being blinded and you having disadvantage for you being blinded, cancel each other out, or whatever nonsense. So Dumb. what's the point of the spell? It's supposed to irritate its eyes. So it's supposed the to point, stop the, the way it's supposed advantage. to work, yeah, it's supposed to work like you can cast it on yourself as an archer, you step out of the fog cloud, shoot a, a loser, and step back into the fog cloud. Oh, or, hold, on. hold on, hold on. Let's not trust the random guy on Reddit that Kyle's reading. Let's trust ChatGPT Senpai, but we don't have to go off this for now. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, Chat I'm just saying, right. ChatGPT Senpai says it was actually a great idea, so... Do with that as you will. Chat GPT. <laughs> he so says it can significantly impact combat by providing certain advantages and disadvantages. Advantages for the caster. Mm. So it reduced range it attacks. Say, ooh, ooh, at the end. <laughs> All right, Moon, go ahead and make it, do, do your turn. All right, seeing as how I've studied in the darkness, in the ways of the shadow. I am unaffected by this fog, and I can see my surroundings clearly through vibra vibrations and sound. Make an attack with disadvantage, please. You son of a... It says... Uh... How dare you? I just RP'd against the disadvantage. <laughs> oh my gosh. How unfair. Hit him anyways. Yes, that does hit. Wait, no, it does not. 18? I have to take the 18. Or 18 does hit, I'm sorry. Okay. Damn, I was going to be like, I'm running away at that point. Nine damage. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Oh my gosh. Does 12 hit? Nope. I'm not going to bother rolling the second. Unless it's a 20. No, right? you have to, because it could be a natural one. You're lucky. <laughs> Right. I'm going to um I'm going to expend a key my key energy. Okay. Um <laughs> Oh shit, hold on one second. I don't want to do the wrong thing here cuz I might die. Okay. So <coughs> if I take um my dancing stance mm -hmm. which is a dodge stance and it therefore gives the creature a disadvantage against trying to strike me. And I am the only one where it knows the whereabouts of at this point, clearly. So would it have to roll three times and take the lowest of that since it's already in disadvantage from no, the fog? No, no, there's no way that stacks. Disadvantage is disadvantage. It's just one, it's just... All right, then I will use flurry of blows combined with my drunken technique <gasps> so let's just do that oops not wrong window okay go first first attempt 
18. Okay, so Sec- again. Damn it. 10. That was a miss. All right. Second attack, 20 and... Yes, okay. That hits. So I, I do strike it to disorient it for 10. How do you want to kill it? Oh, no. Just kidding. Get the fuck out of here. What the I was going to say, dude? Come on. <laughs> So All right. 10 damage is disoriented? Uh, no, no, no. I just I RP'd that. So it's not actually disoriented. But within the okay, fog, so I, I, I slip away. Okay. Proxus. Uh, hold on. Make hold it. on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm debating on which direction I want to go. Okay. All right, Proxus, make a death saving throw. <laughs> what? Zob- I have two quick questions. Yes. What did we decide on the use of potions with downed persons? So you guys do have some very unique potions in your possession right now, if you don't remember. I do remember that I have a unique special potion. You can use that on a downed person. And that and that special potion also didn't take a full action, correct? Correct. Can we determine, since I have high intellect, that I probably knew in general where Dum Dum was before? You could, since you were looking right at it, you can discern within a couple feet where Proxus is. Take an acrobatics check to see if you trip on it. <laughs> Taking into account, so that's half of my movement. I'm going to take into account that I probably might fumble a little bit, but yeah, find my still way. Got two movement to figure it out so where you are now you have um i'm fine with losing all my movement just to get here okay that's well that's fine and then i'm going to shove my special healing potion down his gullet okay i don't know how much it heals what did uh what was the potion name is it in your inventory I put down, I have a potion, a greater healing potion. Uh, yeah, but I, I had you guys name this specific, something specific. I just don't remember what. I don't know if that one, Ba-da-ba-da-ba. potion of healing, potion of healing. Might have just typed in potion of healing. Well, I don't see it in here other than, Hang on. I have in my typed in here potion of healing greater and I have other potion of healings that I've made oh um, right. so it was a potion of greater healing so 44 plus 4 okay so I think it's that one I just I didn't make any notes on it 44 do I roll it for him, you, or him? Uh, he rolls it. To see how well his body takes to it. What a loser. I think I should have rolled 11. <laughs> so you uh, heal 11 points of damage. And then I... And you still have your action. Since that's a quick action, I believe I can now cast Misty Step. Which will Isn't allow me... Yes, so then either either way, I think I'm good. Yeah. To teleport back outside of the mist. What an angel. Get up, <laughs> loser. Oh, wait, you can't. <laughs> I only did that so I could watch him get knocked over again. Probably. Roga. <laughs> um, dun 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 dun. Hmm. How tall is this cavern? Uh, it is at least fifteen feet tall. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's more like. I will cast. Can I move my character actually? Yeah. I can't I can't actually move my character? Where do you want to go? It's about ten feet tall. Why can't I move my character? Wait a minute. Oh, it still is over its turn. That's why. Wow. Yeah, yeah, what? Can I... So I'll go here. Um, 
bum 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 bum. Hmm. My God, hmm. there's this the bottom. Layer Don't go in front of me, Rosa. Just littered with dice. <laughs> I'm going to take a take a guess as to where the beast still might be. I'm guessing we can probably hear it. So I'm going to use an AOE spell to hit it with the okay. range attack. So would an AOE spell be disadvantaged? What's the spell? Shattered. I doubt it would be disadvantaged, but yeah, you, it, you don't need it to see. Yeah, but you could also hit Chris with it too. I well, think it's a special Remy. condition that doesn't let it hit friends. No, it, it, it could. If I did oh, it just mind. if I did it where I thought was in the middle, I was gonna try to do it like off the side or something like here. Well then uh, I'll run in. I'll run in. Me. So I'm gonna run up. Oh he's dead. I see this bad boy. I wanna get over here. I turn my character towards him. And I will swing. <laughs> swing on him. Make an attack. So this is disadvantage. A... 1d8 plus 2. So I'll do a d20. So that's 5. Plus 5 would be 10. It's a miss. Is that hit? Alright, miss. Roll again for disadvantage. And you want to see less than a 5? Okay. I want to see if you roll a natural 1. So is he <laughs> flanking right now? It doesn't matter because I rolled a 5. <laughs> okay, is that your turn? Yeah. I mean, do we get normal rolls because we're flanking? How does that work? Um, no, I would say no because the fog cloud is kind of superseding that. What's what good's flanking if you can't see? I agree with that. You wouldn't be able to tell mm -hmm. you're flanking. Well, isn't it more? It's not the attacker really. It's just that you can't maneuver back. It's already at a disadvantage because it can't see, so it wouldn't know that it's being flanked even. No one would know anyone's flank. I just don't understand flanking, then. Like, why does it give you an end? Because usually it would be a distraction. It's just dumb and undead. It doesn't know. Let's see what this dumb thing does to you right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it is going to aim a tentacle in the direction that it felt Rogar move. So, Rogar, make a DC... Uh, make a constitution saving throw. It's going to throw up on him. Constitution. So this is a plus three. Bam. Fifteen. 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 Okay. So, so one of the eye stalks points in your direction and a light yellow mucusy gray shoots from it. And it grazes your shoulder, not hitting you entirely, and you take 15 points of damage. Not in damage? It is necrotic. Okay. Oh. Okay. Necro. Damage. Necro and then it is damage. going to attempt to bite you as well. Oh, gosh. Mm. Rogi. Breathe on. Huh. 17? Does not hit. Okay, so it misses. Well, Remy. hold on, and also hold on because uh, slow down there, champ. I got it. There's a lot of different pages I have to read through in this app. Hey, but one, don't you one take them, a disadvantage roll too? So, so yeah, I did. So his eye beam. He's within five feet of me, right? Yes. Is the eye beam thing considered an attack? No. Okay, never mind then. The eye bizzle. The eye bizzle he just did do with necrotic farts? Ne yeah. Necrot izzle. Mm. Oh, let's eye bizzle this thing. Yeah, the, the question is like, can I basically counterattack that no. attack or not? No, they, each of the eye ray abilities literally say the target must succeed a DC. But if they bite, you can. The bite you can, yes. <laughs> All right, Remy is going to sh try to shoot at it again. 
Who's his wife? Yeah, she's <laughs> fucking someone. Get that wife in here. Waifu. For its wife duties. What's up with the turns? They seem fucked up. Ooh, yeah, no, they are. What's up with that? Next question. Can you disengage? How in long does because it's flying cloud good. last? Ten um actually. Oh, he hit me. I actually need to do a yeah, constitution I say, save. I believe it's concentration. Up to an hour. Let me do that save real fast. Not a good thing you didn't do shatter, because that would have got rid of it. Shatter? No. Hmm. Or just another think, spell. Just That's another spell, spell that needs... 13 damage, Randy. Just another one that needs uh, concentration? I think I passed the con save. Okay. Or concentration, by the way. Shatter so, doesn't require concentration, though. I mean, no, 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 saying, never it. mind. It doesn't. You and need to do takes, another one that needs concentration. And it takes out one of the stocks, got him. Remy's gonna shoot it again. Hits. Jeez, huh? Yeah, sharpshooter. Jism. He would have used sharpshooter and missed, though. Hunter's Mark can damage every time. Giant Slayer only once around. What's Giant Slayer? 1d8. 1d8. Because it's injured. Or Colossus Slayer is what it's actually called. <clears throat> so, 8 points of damage. Ooh, max roll. All right, so it's kind of... Um, what was levitating easily, it's kind of drooping further and further down to the floor, and it's just looking really, really rough. Moon, you're up. Well, you can't even tell that, because there's a big fart cloud in the whole room. Is the fog still up? Yes. yes. Oh, by the way, the fog smells like Rogar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I was going to say, he didn't fog. actually yeah. cast a spell. It's, it's, he just held it's his tinted mouth a little yellow, just like his beard. He just held his mouth open. We should be rolling against poison. Um, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna move in, strike, strike, and move out. Okay, make your attack. <laughs> Hit. Hit. Bam. Six. Okay. Second attack. It misses, but I'll just in case I get a one, which I <gasps> can't. Get. I can't get ones, by the way. I forgot to tell you that. We'll talk about it later. Um, oh, is it a monk thing? No, it's ha it's halfling. Oh, lucky. Yeah, lucky. Just I have I have man. luck, and then I have halfling luck. I have two different lucks. Um, is that your turn? No, 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 no. And then I'm going to use my flurry of blows. Okay. So first attempt. This is a fourteen. Ooh, miss. And second attempt, 16. That is a hit. Six damage. So with that, the Beholder slumps to the ground, and it looks very motionless. And it... Uh, its eye closes, but you see the tentacles still wiggling around on its body. Aww. But it's That's still sad. alive? Then? Anyways, no, I can... Hold on. I gotta move back to my... I'm running away. Yeah, there we go. Drunken. I'm drunk, so I'm running around. There we go. I'm gonna take, All right. take the opportunity to slice off its tentacles. Yay. Yeah. You need to make an attack. Yeah, attack it. Or should I coup de gras? Uh, is it in a? Is it in a? <clears throat> uh, what's that? Fourteen. Miss. Fifteen. Miss. Okay, it's got sixteen on him. <laughs> There's all that's. I don't know. I guess I'm trying to shoot it with a ray of frost. Magic missiles, that doesn't move. I mean, I'd have to have sight of it, right? I don't think so. I think it just does. Each dart hits a creature of your choice that you can see within uh, range. 
to walk up to it. Remember that worked last time? Yeah, it did. So I'm rolling disadvantage into the mist? Yes. Well, that didn't work. I'm going to read my book now. <laughs> fog cloud is bullshit. Rogar, you're up. <laughs> I don't care. I already did damage to it. <clears throat> I will... I will... I will cast Spirit Guardians just because you boys are very useless without your eyeballs, apparently. So this will disperse my fog cloud. Perfect. Just in time for it to have a turn. <laughs> that is well, the, the hope. The hope is that it doesn't. Can't you? So make it? a make a perception check first, Ma. Okay. okay so plus my perception, whatever. Ma. Looking at the decomposing body, you can just feel how um, evil and undead this creature is, and something within your divine body beckons you to use maybe Cord's name or you just have the sense that you need to cleanse this creature in order to finish it off. Oh. Mm -hmm. I do have passive insights and perception and wisdom. Perhaps that's how I know this. I will instead I will reach out my my dwarven paws and I will like Constantine you, we've all seen Constantine right remember in the end when the devil thrusts his hands into Constantine's chest and cures him of his lung cancer I too shall say cold lights my holy hands and let me purify this abomination unto your greatness and i cast cure wounds in both hands and thrust them into him great he just cured its lung cancer now oh he's fighting no. again <laughs> <laughs> now it's gonna help the devil <laughs> you had to add that in the end so, uh, <laughs> so somewhere in the heavens, Cord hears this call, and a brief microscopic look into the situation. The god, hearing your cries, looks upon the situation and just shakes his head. And instead of cure wounds, you, divine energy, uh, harm, touch passes through your hands and the beast writhes in pain and falls to the floor now dead. Har harm touch? What's that? Corvax goes to that guy and just heal that thing. I've never heard of that spell. I didn't know I had that spell. Or cause wounds, whatever it is that you have. No, 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 no. You can't do that. That's a, that's a necrotic <laughs> spell. He just blessed the is damn it? thing and killed it. Yeah. Hang on. Where did it go? Just say his breath was too much. For Just him. say his guiding bolt. Yeah, I was kind of trying to do like an RP thing, you know, like some holy, you yeah, know, like no, purification no. kind of thing. Like do, do I was it. advised by my DM, but apparently that's not good enough for y'all. No, not a heal. It's a zombie. Holy got... magic is is deadly that to zombies. That doesn't work Why in would... D and D. Why oh, wouldn't... please, it doesn't work. But it works why... in my RP. Why wouldn't you just use, like, Guiding Bolt from Corn? I don't know what he could speak <laughs> from like, Corn. It yeah. needs radiant damage to die. So whatever you spell die. you have that's radiant damage. Well, that's great, because I have zero radiant spells. He's a Tempest fart. All right, this thing's not dead. <laughs> he kills it. So Proxus just skips now? everyone's turns and acts in a park. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're chopping, boys. You don't have any radiant damage? There's no radiant damage. Don't you have, like, something flame, sacred flame? Yeah. Well, guess for... what? You have to have spells prepared. 
You ain't no beast from Divinity. Mm. Oh, <laughs> shit. Well, let's hope one of you guys gets a fucking crit. So you're not going to let Cure Wounds, uh, which is, you know... No, I'm not going to do mm. it. It's going to mm. heal it. Okay, okay, fine. All right, I will do that then. Jesus Christ. All right, easy, easy. You you got rid of its lung cancer. <laughs> yeah. It's cataracts are gone. It's stronger. All right, well, I Wait will... All right, so are we restarting that turn? I'm confused. Yes. Rec all right, Chris all right. edit well, the video. Listen, listen, listen. As I was saying, when I was originally starting my turn, I was going to cast... Spirit Guardians, whatever this is called. Yeah, Spirit Guardians, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Can I continue doing that, yes. DM? Okay, yes. when I cast this, the fog disperses, okay? We can all see. We can see it's writhing in its pain, okay? I call forth the spirits now. And I, I call to my, to, to Cord's beckoning. You know, I, I say, Cord, provide me the servants to, to dispatch... <laughs> Not corn. <laughs> I was just thinking of corn when you said corn. I can't tell if you're thinking of like a corn on the cob, like from Rick and Morty, or Falling a band away. corn. <laughs> 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 so I, 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 I set down my my shield and my mace, and I clap my hands together. I say, and I start lifting up. These spirits start just crawling out from the ground. These little beings of lights. And they just surround this disturbed evil zombie, okay? And they're 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 good creatures because I'm of a good alignment, right? Alright. The creature, uh, when you cast a spell, you can designate blah 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 the creatures it affects. An affected creature speed is halved. When the creature enters the area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there, it must make a wisdom saving throw, Yuda. On a failed save, the creature takes three D eight radiant damage. Ooh, okay. On a successful save, it takes half as much. Okay. So it, so it is. It is dead. Yeah, okay. That's that's enough for it to kill it. Nice. Thank you. Let let. I let don't me... have any radiant spells. Well, guess what? The spell that I was going to cast originally, until you confused me, was radiant. So. So as Rogar was going to begin to cast Spirit Guardians, he had a hiccup and a belch, <laughs> and the wave of noxious fumes emitting from this dwarf's mouth oh were enough God. to kill an undead already zombified <laughs> beholder that smelled wretched. Oh, thank corn. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone... everyone... Oh, God. <laughs> <Proxis>. Zombie? <laughs> Throw its body at the door and see if it opens it. <laughs> So everyone gets 300 XP from that fight. I hawk the corpse at the door. <laughs> 300? It just makes it... And slaps against the door and nothing happens. Damn. However, one of its eye stalks does go off and you see a red beam of energy fly down this hallway. He just woke up the dragon. I pick, I pick it up and stick it in my bag of monster horrific parts. <laughs> The whole thing? No, the piece that fell off. Okay. Let's check out its lair. I've heard they're magical. <laughs> what is this adventure? So looking into that, Karen, it just looks to be a um, elvish corpse. Elvish its, corpse? It's, it's, uh, sword, having seen many battles, My guy keeps getting on its skeleton. It doesn't look like a, the sorcerer, though? No. Does this sword look cool? The sword is rusty as hell. Oh, I can't find anything cool. Where's the corpse? <laughs> Which corpse? Oh, are these eggs? We need to talk to the undead. Make an investigation check. Uh... 
So looking at the this pool of mucusy um, globules and slimy sprays, it, it looks to be like greenish rocks. Green rocks, like glowing green. Yes, they seem powerful. Detect magic on the rocks. They emit a faintly, very extremely faint magical presence. Magical rocks, guys. Hmm. Take one home, maybe. How big are, uh, you know, do any of them fit in a pocket? Or They're about big? the size of a coconut. Size of a coconut. Okay. Rocks well, is split one open with your pickaxe. I'll, I'll take one and put it in my bag. Is that fine? Make a constitution saving throw. Oh, yeah. Three. So as you pick up the rock, your hands just start to burn, and you take three points of necrotic damage. And the oh. rock busts open and out slithers the what looks to be a um, very, very minuscule um, zombified beholder head. Oh, shit. oh, my God. All right, well, my spirit guardians last for 10 minutes, so this thing should get instantly killed. It, it's, it's almost like liquefied. Mm. It's it's just Stop it's on them. not it was not undead. It's just dead. There's still rocks on them. Let's kill the rest of their babies. Come on. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I pick up this boulder that's like the size <laughs> of not even a textbook. And I make can, a strength check. And I can <laughs> barely pick it up. Uh, uh, I, I hope you drop it on your foot. And I try to drag it over, and I <laughs> drop it. it just short of the eggs. Uh, just short of it? Uh, that was a uh, really good try, Zorba. Uh, uh, me. Uh, I guess we'll let them grow and kill us. Does that mean that that was a mommy watcher? An old man, maybe. Are the holder eggs worth anything? If you want to pick them up and burn your hands off. Why would they burn my hands? You just see what happened to him? Ooh, look at oh, that. Oh, get me out of room. This is scary. You first. No, 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 you first. Well, then why are you walking in front of me? I check for traps. Make an investigation check. What did you roll? 22. So uh, right in the middle, um, right where you are about to step, you see that the floor in front of you, the tile, the next cobblestone is a different color than the other cobblestones. All right, everybody stand back. I'm going to poke it with my stick. All right. Get off the walkway. What was the investigation check? 22. 22. Yeah. So as Moon is saying that um, you see that the cobblestone um, from this point of view, you can kind of look and get a better idea. You see a wire coming from the bottom of the different colored cobblestone going all the way under the rest of the cobblestones in front of you. As the will all collapse. Yeah, I don't know if we want to do that. I think we should just avoid the one in front of me. Because if you trigger it, it might collapse the bridge. Can you get around it? It, it, is, it is definitely something that you can step over. Yeah. Nice. Without having any checks. Jump. Oh, he said jump, so he's got to roll. If he just stepped over, it would have been fine. It was a step jump. <laughs> All right. He cast Misty Step. Oh, no! oh God! Rogar just missed it. Oh, my. Oh. Out of my way, and I push him down onto the stone. Who, Moon? <laughs> I wonder how we're going to get into that door back there. Rummy just flew across. Didn't the eyeball choo, try to open choo. the door? I don't remember it trying to open the door. Yeah, the eyeball like flew over to the door. We just have to... magically pass me when treasure was nearby. <laughs> <laughs> I, I pulled the handle. <coughs> Didn't even wait. Just pulled the handle. I investigate everything quickly before everyone else. 
Oh my gosh. I do everything before anyone else gets here. Yeah. So it looks ah. like a uh, room. <laughs> we've we've been on, here get before, here. boys. Mine. Look, look, get out of the way. Let me look. Let me see. Oh, that's a 19. So um, looking at this room, it looks to be urns. Ugh, this is a ceremonial room where urns oh, are specialty. placed for those that wish to be cremated instead of having their bodies laid to rest. Oh, excellent. Wait, did we go in a circle? We did. A jerkle. A swig another healing pot. Okay. Yeah. Green. This place is big. Did I look at these mushrooms? Hang on. One thing at a time here, boys. Where are you, Moon? Uh, where the so, original tree end or whatever was. Make a nature check. <laughs> oh, God, yes. So these look to be all of the mushrooms in this grove here. And there's about, let's see, nine of them. <clears throat> look to be the same mushrooms that Zorbert uses to in his alchemical concussions to make healing potions. Dang. That means I have 11 mushrooms for Zorbert now. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, I pick them all up and continue on. Okay. Where'd they go? Oh, they're up here. Hey, Praxis, you're still looking pretty rough there. Do you want to... Uh, I, got, I got a special mushroom here that can help you feel better. Yeah, I was like, I want to see why the eyeball went to the door. Hang on a second. So what are... You want where's to Rogar? He's way back by the dead thing. It went to the door because Proxus picked it up and threw it at the door. Oh. Yeah, Proxus <laughs> threw it at the door. I want to examine the door then. Okay, go ahead and make an investigation check. Which way do you boys want to go? It is a door without a handle, and you cannot discern how it opens. I guess we surely, can go this way before we go down. It just goes to the right, right? Surely. You want you want to try this mushroom here? I don't want your drugs. I'm telling you, man, it's gonna make you feel better. You're looking a little beat up there. I could. What's in here? All right, Zorbert, what are you doing? I gobbled uh, it up before he can take it. I back. think we're gonna go this direction. Hold on one second. Um, first, Yudgar. Yes. I just gave him, uh Proxus one of my red spotted healing mushrooms. You fool, you have to turn it into okay, a Okay, so what do you do with it? They're separate. They're not from what you use, according to my inventory. He said he gobbled it up before questioning anything. It's just a tasty mushroom. It's what? It's just a tasty mushroom. You told me they were healing folks. No, what? I said they were. They look to be the mushrooms that Zorbert uses no, as an alchemical. No, I, have I have different ones. <clears throat> I've got uh, 12 different kinds of mushrooms currently in my inventory. So what one did you give him? I gave him, for one of our conversations, one of the, the way I wrote it was one of the red spotted healing mushrooms. Maybe you meant something else when you said that? Yeah, all the mushrooms that are red with the white spots are used to, to make healing potions. It's not, okay, the, well, you it's ate, not the special you grove ate. one, was it? Well, yeah, that's the I grove thought. ones are different. And I told you what those did at the time. I have, yeah, I have a bunch of those too. So maybe I just heard that one wrong. It's very possible. All right, you eat it anyways, and it doesn't do anything. <laughs> and it's delicious. <laughs> Don't you feel better? I'm a I need to less change hungry. that. Inventory. I have those written down as like the same. Okay, Zorbert and Praxis, I need you to make a um, initiative dexterity saving throw. Oh, you're supposed to check for traps. So 18. So you each take six points of damage as a metal spike shoots up from the ground and glancing both of you. Glancing, <laughs> blowing both of you. Nice. Um, my bloody footsteps are throughout the chamber. <laughs> 
Now that I've given Praxis all my healing potions. To save his life. Anything cool in this cauldron? It looks to be like an embalming... F you, you smell um, a very strong scent coming from it, and you can imagine it's like a... a uh, filled with chemicals that help smells in like the, the decay smells like, process. It smells like the fetal pigs I have the students dissection class. Fetal Scooby Doo covered. They need to learn about anatomy if you know what I mean. Oh, hey, Praxis. Hey. I'm just bleeding all over the place. Oh, What's this oh, way? Oh, you first. Mm. Wait, wait. Is that a spike trap? <clears throat> Or a morning star. Moon, what are you doing? I investigate this corpse on the ground. Oh, yeah, it's got cool weapons. I'm not doing anything at the moment. I'm just following them. Because I'm updating my notes now for those mushrooms. That id walked over the trap, didn't he? So this corpse looks to be a little more fresher than the other Ooh. ones. Sites. It's got some skin still attached to the bones and some some muscle tissue, and it, it looks like to be a simple shield and morning star that it had as its uh, weapons. Proxus put it in the bag. I drop both of them in the bag. Okay. I check it for a pulse. It is clearly dead. <laughs> What's this area? Where's Rogar? Rogar got lost. He's found some kind of tunnel. <laughs> he rocks into the dragon. Oh, hey. Hey. Oh, what you doing? <laughs> What's over here, it's Hazard? I'm looking for you, hang on. Like... So this looks to be a collapsed tunnel. Um, <laughs> it, it may have gone somewhere at one point, but it has been caved in. Get your finger out of there. <laughs> hey Moon, what's this way? I don't know. Are you still here? <clears throat> Who? Remy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm here. Alright, so what are you guys doing? So Zorbert, as you turn that corner and look in, a, a wide open cavern opens before you. As I turn this... Oh. There's, uh, there's two different paths here, Remy. And look in this corner. Wait a minute. I gobble up another healing pot. Are you sure that's where I'm at? Yes. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah. Wide open area. Can I see to that center area that looks scary? Oh god, where'd I go? Alright. Uh Moon, I'll look at that after. Yeah, I'm not right now. Not right now. Not right now. I'm just wanted to post it for you. What are you doing, Zorbert? Uh I see a bunch of jars in here. <clears throat> Anything in the storeroom or is it just uh Involving it looks to be fluid. similar jars that you found in the other room, and if you when you open one up, there's just ash and bone inside. Oh. I look down this hallway. Okay, hang on. I know, you're in, we're in two different places. I don't want to get TPK'd by myself. Oh, so Lord. this hallway opens up to, uh, it looks to be Dude, far just more... Sh shut me into a wall. Oops. That's hilarious. Far more refined stonework. Can you, yeah, can you move? There we go. Thanks. All right. There and we leading go. downstairs, it leads down. <laughs> Remy, put on your put on your goggles and sneak around the corner and see if you can see anything. I don't want to split too far from the rest of the party. All right. So Remy comes to the end of the hallway. There's a door down here, Moon. All right, we should probably wait. We'll come back. All right, what are you doing, Zorber? We're sneaking. Okay, so you fade into the shadows of this large cavern. Oh my gosh, guys. 
Sick. We, we had a discussion. Turn your torch off. Even with his torch on, you cannot see Proxus right <laughs> next to you. <laughs> He's in the astral plane. <clears throat> Rogar, did you see where they went? No, no, I didn't. I was too fascinated with the architecture here, the stonework, it's very nice. Yeah, it's even better down that hallway, but I'm going to find the others and let them know that we found a, uh, a stone hallway. A hewn stone hallway. Hewn? Hewn. Oh my god, look at these mo- <laughs> How about you go find the others? I'll, uh, I'll just be right here for a sec. Take time. Can we, is it too dark in here to discern what's in front of us? You cannot see you you see a large cavern between you and the center platform. Um and you see a, a faint a familiar green glow at the very bottom like you did when you guys first entered the, the crypts. Um okay. it just goes down hundreds and hundreds of feet. Can my uh twenty six investigation tell me if these strands are like web or so taking Corvax out and poking the strands, they do not buckle at all under the weight, and you apply a, a fair uh, amount of pressure. Um, then you know, sticking your foot on and testing it, they seem to support your weight easily. And it doesn't seem to be sticky. No. I tossed my grappling hook to the rocks with an 11. Okay. So the grappling hook skids along the rocks for a, a little bit, but then it finally finds purchase in a crevice. And is hooked in there safely. I tie one end to this other rock on this side and create we a use handhold. It. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything special about these mushrooms before I move on? Uh, they look to be uh, like all of the other crypt mushrooms you've seen and have no nutritional value. Thank you. you so there's them. no need to roll a, a saving throw. With the handheld and the strength of the, the, the webbings, you guys could make it across easily. Oh, are we turning our torches off? Or are we letting them go ahead because they're stealth? Okay, that makes more sense. I'm going to wait back here. We investigate. Guys, guys, let's wait behind we the rock. We investigate. With, with his brain, not mine. Wait. Wait. With my brain. I meant that. <laughs> <laughs> so, this looks to be a sarcophagus. I animal. used my brain. <laughs> <laughs> So, Proxus, being in the military your entire life and seeing quite a few funerals and quite a few ceremonies where your comrades have been laid to rest, you can tell when something is a little more special in regards to a resting place. And seeing the four statues on the corners of the center platform and the sarcophagus by itself, you get the impression that whatever was buried here was held in high, high regard. Elon Musk is buried here. <laughs> I don't know, it's something important. Either high regard Or something that they wanted to separate From everything else It looks like a Sith crypt Are we gonna grave dig this bad boy? What do I got in my backpack? I forget Well, we got one on one of my oil flasks um, I will speak to Corvax once again. Okay. Inquiring if he feels like he is close to his comrade. Wait, did how, when did Rogar jump over there? You could walk across if you wanted, Moon. It's it's sturdy. <laughs> um. So Corvax. Um. I. I cannot tell, but there is powerful magic coming from this tomb. But I I don't think it's my kin. Right. I will ask her help. Oh. Wait, yes. I will utilize Corvax to cast Dispel Magic on the tomb. Okay. So, a, a flash of light emits from Corvax and you see a green mist dissipate into the sky as the Dispel Magic goes over the sarcophagus. All right. I'm going to 
open this bad Johnny up. Hold your breath just in case there's a poison trap. I uh, take out my smithing tools and put one of the chisels in there and pound in okay. the hinges. So the hinges give way with enough effort. Um, it, it takes you about half an hour to get it done because it is a well-made sarcophagus. But um, for the sake of brevity, I'll say you spend you know quite a bit of time on it and get it done so that the hinges are removed from the sarcophagus and you can lift up the cover if you wish. Rogar, help me with this. Oh, sure. <laughs> so make a strength check with advantage. Dice are flying everywhere. <laughs> Is that a 20? Why didn't that show up? A previous one. It, it was something else and a new dice hit it. So well, either way, either way, you guys fucking struggle, but you're able to lift the sarcophagus, and inside you see black full plate mail with a skull inside that is extremely black, and a red cloak under it, and green boots. Those boots look sick. <laughs> Alright, boys, who gets what here? I don't need any of it. Oh. Well what what's the uh what what's what's plate mail do? What's it do? Are you really are you really just it, gonna disturb the remains? It's armor. Um are there any insignias, anything I can see on the armor, the cloak? To give way of either a deity or anything I've seen. Uh, <laughs> royalty. Nothing that you can discern, no. Can I detect you magic going? on any of the items? You can, if you wish. I'll cast Ritual Detect Magic. So, the Detect Magic spell goes off, and you can see a bright glow on the boots and on the cloak, and then a kind of weird glow on the plate mail. A weird glow? Yeah, not one that you've seen before. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to start taking this cloak off this dude. Okay, so as you reach your hand in and grab the yes, cloak, yes, yes, yes. the skull... The red eyes appear in the skull there we go. and it turns to dust and then before you or actually no hang on I'm cursed. so and then in front of you from the skull a wispy incorporeal creature appears before all of you Remy come on man everyone roll initiative <laughs> I would just like to tell this incorporeal creature that um, I was just trying to fix the cloak. It was a little <laughs> furled. <laughs> uh, hey, sir, uh, I just wanted to fix this for you. He ruffles the collar. Like, All right, boys, I'm dead. See you later. Okay. So what did everybody roll? Moon rolled a fucking eight million. I've never in my life rolled a good initiative in this. Damn that means I get two turns, right? I gotta roll for Rami, too. You should just misty step onto the archway. This thing can float over and murder us. Okay, so. Seven. Jump Monk was a 12. Was I Rogar. able. What did you roll? 11. Mock. <clears throat> When, when you were describing that, did you say that the cloak disintegrated? No, the, the cloak is in your hand. Uh, so I have the cloak. Okay. You have the cloak. All right, so the wraith is going to go first. What? All right, I'm dead. Uh, do something cool with this cloak, boys. <laughs> that, that's not That's not true. I rolled a 20. I wiped my ass with it. Yes, but would you say you were surprised? As Absolutely this not. I, I was not surprised. I was out of super this ready for. Dude, I was ready for anything. I am a stout halfling monk. I literally don't get scared. I swipe the cloak in its face. 
I just go. <gasps> <laughs> so you're just skipping my. I go last for rolling a twenty. No, 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 no. I gotta fix that. You gotta go first. I put I put the cloak on Corvax and have him bounce around like he's a puppet. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> okay. The ghost runs. <laughs> It probably doesn't hurt anyone that's wearing the cloak, guys. So it is going to... Mm, 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 mm. going to come out of the sarcophagus, and the first thing that it sees is Rogar. Sick. Rogar, grab the boots. It'll, it won't hurt you. 14. That's not hit. Okay. <clears throat> I, every time Rogar gets like a call out, I put up his porch. <laughs> <laughs> Rogar didn't even pick up the shield, then he got attached. This time. <laughs> what is a hit? Magical damage. Did that roll? 11. Hey. <laughs> Magical damage. Yeah. E. How much damage? Uh, total? Yeah. Uh, 19. Okay. Um, and I know it's a ghost, so my fists cannot affect it. So, I will spend my... Nope, you know what? That's it. Proxia. It is me. You know what time? Snickers. Snickers Snack. a snack with advantage. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and miss horribly with a 10. That misses. Do I have knowledge of wraiths? Or uh, this creature? You know what? Actually, I'm going to do a, on that too. I'll do a superiority die precision strike. Ooh, there we go. 17. 17 hits? Alright. Forget I have that. Um, just the weakness man roll. <clears throat> I don't add the. Okay. Yeah, it just does. That just hits. That's all. Thirteen. Uh, uh, Thirteen damage. Okay. And then twenty-six. Yep. I'm assuming that works. Okay, six plus eleven. Eleven? Okay. I shall end my turn there. Roga. It's a ghost. It's a bird. Probably can't punch <laughs> it. I will channel my divinity to turn undead. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. Was I thinking of the were creatures that my physical strikes don't hurt? Oopsies. Yeah. You should have yelled at me. Why didn't you punch it, Moon? Remember when Remy let that one go? And he alerted everyone in the cave. Yeah. Oh, the were. <laughs> yeah. And we had to fight out of a corridor we all almost died in. Oh my god, that was a fun fight. Okay, what are you doing, Remy? Er, Rogar? <laughs> and Prox uh, is almost turning, turning undead. Rat. So, <laughs> each undead that can see or hear me within 30 feet must make a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom. Because he's scary. I didn't realize I could, like, turn on that ability, though, if I had it. Turn it on and off. Seven. Okay. If it has a challenge rating of a half or lower, it's destroyed. No. Then it must spend its turns trying to move as far away from me as it can. Okay. <laughs> it's breath. And it also cannot take <laughs> it also can't take reactions. It can only use the dash action or try to escape from an effect that prevents it from moving. Ooh. If there's nowhere to move, the creature can use the dodge action. 
Okay. That's that's my turn. Okay. Fancy spell. <clears throat> fancy spell, fancy spell. So does it take re targets of opportunity? Like, we're moving away from all of us? No, if it gets hit, it can't yeah, it back then. Right. So it does if Remy hits it, it doesn't do any of that? Doesn't do any of that, yeah. All right, Remy's going to shoot at it with a spell. <laughs> I don't have any magic that can hurt this thing, so that's all I can do. He's... Why not? Oh, yeah, he doesn't have... Uh, do physical weapons hurt it? No, it's a ghost. Mm -hmm. I both need help. I'm not positive. I mean, it's... Mine's a magical, so it works. So you see Remy shoot his arrow at this specter, and the bolt hits the specter square in the middle, but uh, falls to the ground, and the specter seems unaffected at all by the attack. There you go. It wasn't damaged. It still runs. <laughs> He's going to do it again. Because he doesn't know any better. And same thing. So the target is unaffected by any damage at all. It's, all but... it's fleeing condition. Does that mean it won't get attacked of opportunity on me? I would say no. Because it's not focused on protecting itself. It just wants to get the fuck out of there. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here now. What do you think about that, sucker? If there's nowhere for it to move, it can use a dodge action. That's all it says. Other than it will use a dash action when it, it tries to run away. The oh. boy's ready for me to knock it out of its stupor. Yeah. Ray of Frost! Go! Isn't that not her ghost? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> 14? Yeah. That hits. Does it, though? <laughs> if it has a resistance, it's only half damage, I think. Right? Correct. But you said Remy's strikes did nothing. Yeah, right. I'm shooting magic at oh. his face. Duh. So it takes seven points of cold damage. By the way, that Ray of Frost was directed at its mouth in case it wanted to screech at me. <laughs> <laughs> so your ray of frost spell hits the target but it seems not to be as effective of an attack as you thought it would be it's all right boys i'll get some exp now so having tried having scared the piss out of the specter and then zorbert destroying that effect this guy <laughs> lunge at you again rogar sensing your divine energy <gasps> corn get him corn <laughs> go corn <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 21 hits. Oh no, I have to save Rogar. Oh gosh, look at them dice. So 23 necrotic damage and make Ooh. a constitution saving throw. What? No, I'm down. Down. You still have to make a constitution saving throw. I'll make a constitution saving throw. <laughs> look how these dice just tumble. So that's plus 2, 9. Okay, so so your hit point maximum is now reduced by 23 as well. Holy sugar plums. Permanently? You don't know. <laughs> oh, no. Man. Knock over Rogar. He's downed. Oh. No. Rogar. It looks spry enough to As Rogar falls, he says... Avenge me. No, I say keep Zorbert away from my funeral. <laughs> Good. Let me just break the fear undead for three points of cold damage. <laughs> got him. Shot him. Got him. <laughs> He's stroking his beard. Oh, my God. That one. This <laughs> might have been a miscalculation. <laughs> Not on my part. 13? Missing. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to reroll that with luck. There we go. That hits. Ten? Yes, yeah, so as you slam your quarterstaff into the specter, the silver bits seem to coalesce on your quarterstaff, and the specter explodes in a trail of corporeal mist and is defeated. I immediately run over to Rogar and start performing mouth-to-mouth. -mouth. <laughs> 
Wait, are you sure wait, you want to do that? Wait, Four points wait. of damage. Make a constitution saving throw. I'm already done. But <laughs> it's not <something> funny. <laughs> Quick, grab the boots and see if another one spots. <laughs> I'm, I'm already okay. wearing them. <laughs> <laughs> While Moon was killing the raid, Fractus was putting the boots on. Hmm, what do we have here? <laughs> and you look at his feet and they're on the wrong feet. <laughs> and point, the feet are pointing in the wrong way. He's got the boots on his hands. <laughs> Let's go. And I point with the boot hand. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, God. Praxis, I think those are, I think those are boots, not gloves. I think. Try them on your feet. See if they see if they fit better. Remember, remember to use your hands to make sure you're, you know, pointed the right direction with your your boots when you're putting them on. I drop the uh, black plate mail into the bag of holding. Okay. And you all get three hundred XP for that fight as well. Oh gosh. It's plate mail, right? Not like half plate. Yes, plate mail. So there was a cloak, there were boots, and there was half plate or full plate? Yes. Was there anything else? No, that's it. Okay. What more do you fucking want? No, no, I just, I was just making sure. I'm waiting for like quarter staff plus 12 to be somewhere in my life. Mm, well, I thought the bird wand was going to be something, but. No, just summon, summon the bird. bird. Weren't you supposed to go somewhere, Moon? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> then we keep going and on other adventures. Well, you didn't mm. tell us to go anywhere. Uh, I tried once. You're making me to make all these decisions. I tried. I tried, what, and nobody wanted to listen to Moon. Look at what old happens old. when I make decisions. I get a cloak, Poor and Rogar almost dies. Little old Twice. Moon, nobody wants to listen to me. Rogar, get up! Rogar, you're here. <laughs> Me just freaking shimmy. <laughs> Rogar, channel go corn and heal yourself. Yeah, we're looking pretty. We're looking pretty beat up. We should probably uh, find somewhere to rest. Oh, I'm crossing before he takes his grappling hook down. Where are you guys going? <clears throat> Anybody else? We should probably find a uh, somewhere we can rest up. Um, yeah. did we, did we get the rest of the goods from the yeah. crypt? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So where do you want to rest? There was so a... looking at, looking in this direction, you do see, um, faint daylight coming from this direction and you feel a sl you, you felt a slight breeze when you were in the middle looking at the sarcophagus. Maybe there's somewhere to set up the tent. <clears throat> Our camp towards that, uh, that light over there. Or goblins. Goblins use nuts, got him. Oh. Hang on. Remy takes five points of trap damage. What did he step in? So he as he crossed the platform here on the strings, he stepped on a pressure plate right here. And his foot fell down into a, a Vietnamese spike trap. <laughs> <laughs> that means he's got poison poop on him. Yep. Poison damage. E. coli attack. So once you get to this point, you look up and it looks to be a familiar um, site where you guys first entered this crypt. The broken this, floor? The daylight uh, greets you once again as soon as you come to the big hole with the opening of the ruined cathedral. We're gonna have to go see that dragon, aren't we? Oh, uh, well, not out this entrance. <clears throat> I'm not sure if we're gonna find anywhere to rest around here. You think it'd be safer in the catacombs? Who knows what else is lurking down there? Yeah, but out here there's orcs. Look we didn't see any orcs. <clears throat> Do we find anywhere that's fortified on three sides at least? 
could each get in a sarcophagus. So this area of the ruined cathedral, um, where Zorbert is, seems to be the most secluded and um, easily guarded place that you guys have seen so far. We just have to take turns. We can use our tents to set up kind of like a makeshift shelter in these pillars. <laughs> All right, that should that should work. There's only one, there's only one path of egress. It looks like, and that's gonna be from the stairwell. Or we can grappling hook down too if we have to escape downward. There's so no Remy, hole. Remy, yeah. So where Moon is right now, Remy suggests making camp in that corner because it is got a clear line of sight of stairs up to where you guys are, and you guys would have plenty of time to adjust and make battle formations if anything were to come your way. All right, let's set up camp here. Okay. Good call. Good call, Remy. Good call, Goggles. Goggles. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. He just gets oh, into a sarcophagus. Oh, my wife. Doesn't say anything. His wife's probably real ta really talking to him here. Where's Rogar? Do you need me to pull you up, Ma? I'm trying to figure out how, like, where, which way to go to get there. Found you. Go here. All right. So you guys put together your makeshift camp, and you attempt a long rest. The longest of rest. Tell me if I get to hit the take a long rest button. Uh, who's got first watch? Uh, the dumb Remy because he's never hurt. Okay. Why isn't my plane cutting? I don't want to look up here. Okay, so uh, four hours go by. There we go. The moon is full, beaming in. Everyone's asleep. And then Remy comes over to you, Proxus, and, and rustles you. Hey, man, it's time, time for your watch. <laughs> Let's make a perception check. <clears throat> Okay, another four hours goes by. Who do you want to wake up for next watch? How long we sleep? <laughs> well, long rest is eight like hours. All day, isn't it? No. It's eight hours. Eight hours. Oh, eight hours. Okay, so morning comes, and you guys are fully well rested. <laughs> I'm feeling lucky now. Let's go kill some more banshees. Um. No, we Jake, have to actually stop JK. playing. JK, yeah, we stopped playing here. 